shine on the bar with the sleeves of our coats. You cannot sit still to that song, a Canadian anthem. And unfortunately, we're playing it on our program this morning because of the loss of the man right at the center of that band, the man you hear there. John Mann died yesterday in Vancouver, and he was just 57 years old. Um, John Northcott is here with more on that because, John, the tribute says you would expect just flooding in from They him. really are pouring in. It's hard not to listen to that song. It's uh, difficult because, of course, he is no longer with us, but difficult because we aren't holding a pint in our hands, which is pretty much <laughs> what you have to be doing. We never saw nothing but brass taps and oak kept the shine on the bar with the sleeves of our coats. Anyone who spent a fair bit of time on either side of a bar knows the feeling of that and the feeling of John Mann and uh, the anthem that he sang so well for so many years with the other talented guys, of course, uh, in the spirit of the West. Over three decades, he traveled the world performing and getting people up on their feet with the high energy show. And there you see an example of it there, the sort of energy that he put into it that he once could call it Celtic folk punk. They preferred uh, the term uh, aggressive folk, but certainly those who uh, grew up in the 80s and imagine the music of the Pogues, uh, Pogues rather, all the way through to the Dropkick Murphys. Uh, this is the kind of uh, anthemic, drinking, fun times, folk-based music that this band put out in the spirit of, of John Mann behind so much of it. The tributes are pouring in, as you say, Heather. Alan Doyle, of course, of Great Big C, and now a noted solo performer by himself. Oh my, here's to the biggest influence the singer and performer ever had. Much love to family and all the Spirit of the West Canada clan. Go, Johnny, go. Wherever you're going, that's where I want to go to. Billy Bragg, an icon of the folk world from, of course, the UK saying this. Sorry to hear that John Mann of Spirit of the West has lost his battle with Alzheimer's disease. He's gone home for a rest. Of course, the allusion to home for a rest, that song that was so long associated uh, with the band. For the man himself, he got the diagnosis at the age of 50. He was a performer, of course, not just musically, but in the theater as well. And trying to learn lines at the age of 50, he realized he might have a problem. Let's listen to him. Life expectancy is going to be shorter by far um, than my friends and, and, and my wife will have. Reference there to his wife. She, in fact, wrote a play about a spouse dealing with their partner, dealing with Alzheimer's. He wrote, John Mann wrote two songs for that. Those were the last two songs that he ever wrote. I don't know if I'm alone in this, but I keep thinking of Gordon Downey. Of course, in mm -hmm. so many ways, in parallels, um, the farewell tour and, uh, and just the impact on Canadians who love the music and what the words meant, and also on what their diagnoses did in terms of raising awareness about the diseases with which they were aff afflicted. I mean, the very public battle with Alzheimer's was certainly something that had an, an effect. Early Alzheimer's, hundreds of thousands of Canadians, of course, suffer from Alzheimer's and the dementia, uh, but really only 2 to 8% get it in what's called early on said under the age of 65 and that of course has its own unique challenges often because they are people who suffer from it are still raising uh, young families and uh, dealing with that but the fact that uh, and if we show him performing there uh, with the iPad that he used uh, being able to understand the music but having to read the words the bass player in the band actually uh, set up a foot pedal arrangement that allowed them to change the pages on that uh, the Alzheimer's Society of Canada has uh, a music project that raises money to allow uh, people to get mp3 players that play their favorite music and allow them to still have that remembrance and that association with the world around them. The band, even though they stopped performing with John Mann in 2016, uh, did a series of Johnny's Jams, effectively private concerts for him to be able to bring back his memories of that. And as the diagnoses uh, continue to uh, become prevalent in this country and as uh, younger and younger people seem to be suffering from it, this is an individual who carried on as long as he could. Uh, the music, of course, will live on long without him, but so presumably will be the legacy in how he continued to perform for as long as mm -hmm. he did. That's a beautiful tribute, John. And if you have any words to share at CBC Morning Live, if you want to write to us this morning, shall we listen to some more music? Why don't we Absolutely. do just that? Absolutely. I'll Thank just you. get a pint. All right. Thanks, John.